Carroll. 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 Carroll.
This is Nethery turning. The pass for Beck, who's in deep. Very back centers. Nethery a shot. Smith just got a piece of that. Don Tonelli ties up Nethery, and there's Popan. Around the boards to Counter. And there's Counter. We're checking on him. It was a little heavy. Plays it the other direction for John Tonelli. Tonelli off the stick of Goring at center ice, and Badney picks it up for the Rangers. Over the far side. Elaine dumps one into the Islanders' zone. Backboard is Popan. That was Popan. Uh, Goring didn't get a stick on it at center. Beck going back for the Rangers, and that's icing. 16-22 left in the opening period. There's a break in the action with the score tied. New York Islanders won, the New York Rangers won. Duguay on this face-off for the Rangers. That's Wayne Merrick for the Islanders. Mike McEwen around his own goal to Trache too far, and the puck is loose at center ice. Laidlaw chases it. Merrick comes in quickly to forecheck for the Islanders. Laidlaw, the right side to Talapas. Got away from him. He didn't make contact with it. Longevin back. We'll get a face-off deep in the Rangers zone. Billy Smith, a good save. Jake McDonald off Lance Nethery, point blank. As we see, Ron Duguay, a spark plug for the New York Rangers, has had a fine last half of the season. Excellent playoff, has really taken over the leadership role of the New York Rangers in the playoffs. Boring did an excellent job of shadowing him, the real pest here on Tuesday night. American this draw, and the puck goes to Hospital. Hospitar around to Talifus. Talifus to Duguay. Vickers playing the left side in this line as Duguay dumps one in wide of the net. Backport is Longevin. Ahead to Nystrom too far. Got away from Hospitar as well. And Duguay back at the Ranger line. Takes a look. Dumps it back for Laidlaw. Laidlaw to Talifus. It hit Longevin and came into the Ranger zone on a delayed offside. Talifus dumps it to center. Right to Longevin. Longevin had it stolen and recovered the puck. Longevin. The center, Wayne Sutter played it in off the board, straight from out of the net. The Talifus, he's up hard by Nystrom. But still in play as Talifus dumped it around the boards for Laidlaw. Laidlaw to Duguay. Duguay at center ice. Rangers in the middle of player changes. And over the line, Maloney to Talifus. Talifus to Duguay, cleared by Merrick. Ahead for Marini. Two men back as he comes to center. Marini across the Ranger line, trying to come in around back. Down. That cleared the puck. Carroll in after it. Billy Carroll, Gillies, and Marini, the forward line. That's where Marini checking the board. Carroll with the puck. Billy Carroll centers, but out of the reach of Gillies. Now Gillies picks it up. Can't get the shot away. It was just knocked away from him and cleared by Katsopoulos. On Maloney at center. Forces the Islanders into their own zone. Smith playing it around the boards. Here's Maloney in after it. Into the corner to Sullivan. Sullivan center. Deflected right to Smith. Comes out of the net to clear it for Marini. 29, Hector Marini leaves it for Gordy Lang. Islanders still without Gord and Pearson as Lorimer has dumped it into center ice. Bounces into the Rangers zone for Vadney ahead to Sullivan. Doug Sullivan to Don Maloney who dumps one into the Islanders zone. That's Allison chasing it. Spit then it ahead for Counter. Back to the net for Lang. Islanders in the middle of changes. Lang plays one to the blue line but just out of the reach of Goring. Cleared by Laidlaw, right to Lorimer. Lorimer across the line, into the Rangers zone, Dinelli in front, Lorimer centers, that's cleared aside by Baker. Lorimer back in the goal, was tied up in the play. The puck comes loose, Tonelli chasing it. On Tonelli, around the boards to Goring. Goring from back of the net. Tries to come out in front on the short side, went to stop one in, it was blocked, Tonelli is shot to the clock. Baker got in front of that neatly. On Tonelli to the blue line, McEwen with a shot that's deflected over the glass and into the crowd. Good pressure by the Islanders after the Rangers had applied it to them. Wayne Sutter. Sutter has injured a shoulder, Jiggs McDonald, in a play to the right of Steve Baker in the Rangers' end of the ice. He has gone to the dressing room with head trainer Ron Watsky. I saw him leave the ice favoring his right shoulder. It appeared that he had re-injured the shoulder that he separated a few weeks ago. And Dr. Jeff Binkoff has just left his seat and headed toward the Ranger dressing room. Here's Taller with Tonelli and Goring as the puck is played around the boards. Longevin in off the left point. Right into his band. Ends up back with the Ranger goal and Laidlaw gives chase. 
Egmont. And on the left side, Gillis dumps it into center ice. McEwen knocked that away from Nethery. Here's Gillis with it again. That's Apolis to Valine. He's checked by John Tonelli. Tonelli unable to go anywhere. Longevin back. Gave it to McEwen. McEwen backhand shot was knocked down by Laidmont. Longevin picks it up. The Tonelli is across the line on left wing. The shot was blocked. It's loose. It's higher away for Valine coming in. And Smith out of the net. Fires it back into center ice. Picked up by Gorey. Going to Caller across the line. Beck steps in front of Caller. And Ellie comes in as well, but the Rangers control it. Nethery on right way. With Alain, he's across the line. Alain to Nethery, broken up by Longevin. Dave Longevin to Tonelli. Tonelli at center ice, around one check. Over the Ranger line. Tonelli chased to the boards, trying to come in around Hospital Center. Baker got in front of that. Very back now. Lead pass into the center ice zone. Covering up his borrow as it came off Nielsen. This is Bossy for the Islander. Bossy to pop back the pass down to work. And there's Hedberg in quickly. Right about the board. Popan got a piece of his man, and here's Trache feeding the puck to Morrow. Morrow lead pass to Gillies just out of his reach. Dave Baker in the Ranger goal. Played one around. It comes to the far boards for Morrow. Trying to set up Gillies. Went high. Grabbed by Baker and he holds on. 11.58 left in the first period. There's a break in the action. The score is tied. The Rangers won. The Islanders won. Islanders and Rangers have played 10 playoff games against each other, and each team has won five. There's Gillies now trying to put it out in front of the Ranger goal. It came back to Popan. His shot deflected off the stick. Vickers ahead to Duguay across the Islander line. Duguay in front to Kalapas. All alone, Chuchi scores! Kalapas got wide open on the right side, 18. And we hopefully will show you why Duguay Makes the pass. Dennis Potvin knew he had Duguay at his mercy. Charged across to hit Duguay. And it was all over. Dennis Potvin shot as he tried to get it to Bossy. Hit Duguay. The puck comes back to Duguay. Now watch Potvin go from the left of your screen to the right to hit Duguay. That leaves Talifus all alone to walk in on Billy Smith. And he puts the puck into the wide open, yawning net. Smith beaten on the goal. So is Dennis Fodfan, and the New York Rangers have taken a two to one lead. And number eight, Steve Vickers. Duguay and Vickers get the assists on the goal, coming at the 18 mark. Rainey putting the puck out in front of that Ranger goal, and it comes to Duguay. Duguay to Vickers. Larmer back as Vickers got over the line. Looks for some help. Centered one. Intercepted by Nystrom. Now to Merrick. Wayne Merrick at center. Net get across the Ranger line. Beck plays it off the boards and hit the referee. Comes loose for Hector Marini. Rangers in the middle of the player change as Marini sends Merrick over the line. Back to Nystrom. Nystrom shooting. That was blocked as it hit Batman. Now Lorimer with a shot. And Vickers fell in front of that. Lorimer centers. Merrick in front. Shoots. Baker the save. The puck loose. The scramble. And the Rangers come out of there with it. This is Solomon into center. Fired it around the boards in the Islanders' zone. Smith out of the net to scoop it up, and he was upended. And has held on for a face-off for the circle to the right of the Islander goal. Ten minutes, 50 seconds remaining in the opening period. We haven't had a penalty call, and it has been hard hitting. Good action by the Islanders. Bobby Lorimer makes the play to number 11, Wayne Merrick. He gets the shot away. He did not get much on it. The Islanders covered well in front. Steve Beck on his knees, covering, did a good job. Al Arbor has sent out Brian Trotche with Andy Caller and Butch Goring. On defense, it's Lane and Lorimer. For the Rangers, on the faceoff, Allison got it back to Beck. Comes to the right wing, Sullivan into the corner to Don Maloney. Maloney unable to center. Allison and Lane bump back in the goal. The puck loose came out on foot. Sullivan's shot was deflected high, comes back on the right side. Hospital was checked, loose in front, Maloney is shot. That went wide of the goal. Warmer unable to play it out of there. Aller and Gracie converged on Don Maloney, and now play is called, and we get a charging penalty. First penalty of the game, and the Islanders will take that. There is a break in the action with the score. New York Rangers 2, New York Islanders 1. Trache gets a charging penalty right there as you see it. The Islanders have just iced the puck. 
Atrache off at the 9.36 mark. Rangers and a weak power player in the regular season. And through the playoffs, this is Dreschner with Beck's pass. Dreschner cuts right to in front. A loose puck to Smith made the original save. And out comes Dory. Going into center ice. Across the Ranger line. Shooting. Baker just got a piece of it. He has looked shaky on only a couple of shots that he's faced here in the period. Billy Carroll for the Islanders. He and Dreschner tied it up. Not loose by Steve Becker. Out of Beck. Beck shot it around the boards. In quickly is Anders Hedberg. Hedberg gave it to Nielsen. Oh, Nielsen going back to the net. Up there by Popham. And Dennis plays it out on the left side to Doring. Doring bet immediately as Van Day came in from the blue line. Now Nielsen. Back to Hedberg. Hedberg takes a look. Lickers at the side of the net. Hedberg can't get it to him. Got it to Beck instead. Beck turns, shoots. That came off Carroll and not over the line. Bad day. Played it off the boards and Goring slaps at the length of the ice with 42 seconds left to the penalty to Trotje. For the Islanders, it's Lorimer, Tonelli, Lane, and Caller up front. This is Allison at center ice for the Rangers. Allison to the right wing to Solomon, but the whistle is sounded. Out and offside. 29 seconds left in the penalty against Brian Trottier. Jakes, 10 of the 12 series so far in the playoffs. The team that wins the first game goes on to win the series. Only two, only two of the series were won by teams who did not win the first game. As I was saying, there's Goring's shot. Baker a little bit shaky on that one, as he was on the one by Wayne Merrick that beat him. The two teams, of course, the Flyers, beat Calgary in the opening game, did not win the series. And St. Louis beat the Rangers, and they did not win their series. Of course, the Islanders won the opening game of this series. 5-2 to two here on Tuesday night. Here's a shot by Sullivan in front of the Islander goal. Rangers putting on pressure with his power play. Katsopoulos is on fifth to save as Sullivan deflected it. Now Allison to Don Maloney. Canelli on top of Maloney. Sache is back on. Teams at six aside. Here's Lorimer out of his own zone. Ahead to Caller. Caller across the Ranger line in front. Oh, to Canelli and he couldn't get a shot away. Allison. Eight minutes, five seconds left in the first period. Allison from center ice. Fan on the shot. Looks like one of my golf swings. Now Longevin over to Trotje. Trotje into the center right area. Bossy has been knocked down. There'll be a penalty against the Rangers. As Bossy started that crisscross pattern in the center right zone, he was knocked down. Islanders go to the power play. There is a break in the action with the score. New York Rangers 2, the New York Islanders 1. Con Maloney draws an interference penalty on Michael Bossy and the New York Islanders have their first power play opportunity 40.8 percent an awesome power play the Islanders have in the playoffs there's Bossy with a shot that just went wide Bossy off the far boards into the corner back to pop down Dennis waiting over on the right side this is McEwen the shot was blocked as it hit Talifus McEwen rink wide to pop down pop down sends Bossy over the line against that Bossy turns on the board, back to the blue line to McEwen. The side of the net to Gillies. Mark Gillies to the blue line. McEwen with it. McEwen to Popham. Then it centers and outside the line. It was up in the air and almost hit McEwen. The secret, the thing the Rangers are doing so well, they're staying very close to the Islanders' point men, and that's why you see the deflected pucks. Now here's Gillies checked at the Ranger line. Popham playing it back into center ice for McEwen. Doing. Carries it across the line. Trotje moved in. It was knocked down. Picked up by Bossy. Bossy to Trotje. That went wide of the net. Trotje back to the goal to Bossy. Bossy is checked and Bad Day comes out for the Rangers then fires at the length of the ice. 58 seconds left in the penalty against Don Maloney. Rangers are working very hard, Jiggs. Both teams are hitting. The Rangers are skating and checking very well. Now here's Popvan at the blue line. 45 seconds left in the man advantage. Trotje carries it over the line. Can't get around the check. Popvan is shot. That went wide. Comes back to the right point. Held in by Popvan to Tonelli. John Tonelli to Trotje. And it was broken up and cleared by Netherly. Half a minute to go in this penalty to Don Maloney. Islanders trailing 2-1. to one. Mike McEwen. 
The Caller, Goring and Tonelli with them. Caller shot it around the boards. Tonelli in quickly. Alifa stepped in front of him. Dean Talifa to Dugay too far. Coming back is Bob Lorimer. Dugay tied up by Lorimer. The puck loose. Pop in now for the Islanders. That just about does it for the Ranger penalty. Goring comes to center as Don Maloney is out of the box. Goring across the line, around the defense, shoots the puck to the glove side. Lorimer plays it back in the net. And Hospodar checked by Goring, the puck loose, Beck and Tonelli chasing it, Beck got it to Duguay. To Don Maloney, two on two at center, Lorimer and Lane back. Don Maloney, rink wide, and Goring comes in to pick it up for the New York Islanders. Nystrom along with Goring as he moves in over the line. Sutter is back on after having gone to the dressing room earlier. Nystrom steps into his man with a good check. That was Hospitar that he hit. But center ice is Greshner across the Islander line. Taken out of the play by Lorimer and Smith cleared the puck for Sutter. Now to Nystrom too far. Hospitar back. Plays it into the center ice zone. Two line pass. Rangers called on the offside. A break in the action with the score. New York Rangers 2, New York Islanders 1. Tomorrow night on Sports Channel, there's more New York Mets baseball when the San Diego Padres come to Shea Stadium. Game time is 8 o'clock. The magic is back. And you can catch it right here on Sports Channel. Your box seat to New York sports at home. Baseball, the Mets in San Diego, tomorrow night at 8. Good move that Butch Goring put on Ed Hospodar. You see it here. Goring fakes outside, comes back. Look at Hospodar. He was going to his right. Goring cut back. Look at the amount of net he had and missed it. Good opportunity. Good move by Butch Goring. Just did not finish what he started. Started with a good play. Did not finish well. He missed the net by quite a bit. Is that a good percentage play, putting it between the feet of the defenseman? Not supposed good, to work. No, a good defenseman should not be beaten by it, Jiggs. He backs up and plays the body always, never the puck. Now the Rangers into the Islanders' zone, and Longevin got back to take his bat out. This is Gillies. Carroll. Carroll into center ice. Over that Ranger line. And into Laidlaw. And the puck is loose back at the Islander territory. This is Dave Longevin to Clark Gillies. Gillies cutting to the right, fires it around the boards. Billy Carroll checks. Rangers able to start out three on two. That day sends his bat over, but a hard hit from Lodgeman. He's going to take a penalty on the play as uh, uh, holding to Allison. To jo uh, Dave Longevin as he took Allison down, kind of clotheslined him. Longevin getting the gate. I want to Mandy Van Halleman. Allison. Two minutes for holding. Must have taken a stick or an elbow the in the face. Longevin. Going to get the penalty. We're going to try and get a look at this so you can see. Dave Longevin upset about the call. No question that he caught Allison coming across the blue line. So now the New York Rangers are going to have another power play opportunity. There, you just saw the tail end of it as Allison leveled by Dave Longevin. And that, of course, forced the offside. So Lodge have been gone for holding at 15.35. The Grateful Dead concert that was originally scheduled for the Nassau Coliseum on Thursday, May 7th, has been rescheduled for Wednesday, May 6th. All tickets dated May 7th will be honored, and there are tickets still available. So the Islanders killing off the penalty forced the Rangers back into their own zone. Caller, Trache up front. Pop and Morrow on defense. Dallin is out there for... The Rangers, along with Jerry Gillis and Nethery. And Gillis knocked down in the Islanders' zone. Nethery and Popad into the corner. Trotje oh, comes in as well. The puck loose back to the goal. Denny Popad with it. Popad shot it off. Dallin and up into the crowd. Rangers are putting a lot of energy into the hockey game, Jake. They're everywhere. They're covering a lot of ice, killing the penalty successfully. Dennis Potpad wanted so bad to get Duguay that he left his left point position on the goal by Talifus. 
Dugay took a tremendous check from Potvan, but he got the puck to Talapas going in all alone. Now back on this Ranger power play, Boss went in off the boards, it came to the side of the net, and Potvan was there. Check back of the goal. Morrow trying to tie up his bag, can't do it, Hedberg to back, back shot, Smith to save, big rebound, and it's kicked ahead to Trottier. And he does barely miss setting up Taller, who was breaking into the center ice area. That's Greshner back. Rache right on top of him. It's forced Greshner in behind the Ranger goal. Out comes old Nielsen. Morrow standing up. Hedberg rolls in on the left wing side. Hedberg right in front of back. Henry scores. Rangers up 3-1. to one as Hedberg came in off the left wing. Islanders, another mistake, another goal. As the Rangers come out of their end, moving the puck quickly, moves across to the left wing. Watch Andy Caller here. Morrow has committed himself. Caller goes down on one leg. Hedberg goes around him easy. Walks right in on Billy Smith. He'll go to the backhand here and pop it right off the goal post. It's a game of inches, and Billy Smith missed catching the puck by inches. And Hedberg scores the goal. That's the third goal for the New York Rangers. And they lead the Islanders 3-1. That's Hedberg's eighth goal of the playoffs. Nielsen and Grester get the assists at 16-39, and the Rangers are back into the Islanders' zone again. Puck at the side of the net. Aline with it to the blue line. Badney shot went wide. Comes out of the near wing. Gillies around behind the next to Lane. Now to Bossy on right wing. Bossy couldn't get a stick on it. Picked up by Billy Carroll. Ahead to Bossy. Gillies moving with him. Gillies takes the pass. Can't get in around that day. Now Carroll's pass is deflected. The puck comes outside the line. Rangers into center ice. Gary Gillis dumping the puck into the Islander zone. Both teams changing on the fly. Nystrom has come out with Merrick. And Wayne Sutter as McEwen brings it into center. Rangers zone. Around the boards, here's McEwen at the blue line. He's shooting, and it was blocked and cleared by Batney. And there's going to be a Ranger penalty coming up. An interference call as Nystrom was knocked down in front of the net. There's a break in the action with the score. New York Rangers 3, New York Islanders 1. WHN gives you Dolly Parton. People like my songs because they're about real things. And I like to think that they're ordinary stories told in an extraordinary way. Starting over again, where should they begin? Because they've never been out on their own. 1050 WHN. The first Islander power play did not look that good. The penalty killing of the New York Rangers looked excellent. There's a shot. That hit Dwayne Sutter in front. You see Hospitar up in. Bobby Nystrom gets an interference penalty for it. The Islanders are on a power play. And we're back to the live action. This is Caller out of the far corner. Caller. And Merrick. Nystrom being grabbed in front of the net. The puck, the puck, that is shot just went wide. Here's McEwen in off the point. McEwen bumped on the board. Merrick comes over. The puck still loose, they roll. Nystrom in as well. He dug it loose. Put it out in front, but the Rangers able to clear it. That's Atlas ahead to Don Maloney. Maloney left it into the Islanders' zone. Mike McEwen is back for him. McEwen lugs it into center. Left side to Nystrom. Nystrom coming in against Bad Day. Stopped on the boards. Here's Potvin at the blue line. Duguay blocks it away from him. Duguay into center ice. One on one with McEwen. Left side and Talapas overskated it. Bossy drops it back to McEwen. McEwen to Bossy. Mike Bossy on his off wing. Gillies coming in on the right side. He's tied up. Here's Trotche with it. Trotche around back. Ryan Trotche to Gillies. Goes back to the goal with it. Back right on top of him. Big part Gillies. Up muscling back. Got it to Potvin at the point. Potvin to Gillies. And it was too hot to handle. Here's Trotche. Tied up by back back of the goal. Bossy with it now. Bossy trying to put it out in front. It's underneath. Back to loose, and the whistle is sounded for a hand pass. 56 seconds left in the first period. 34 seconds remaining in Hospitar's interference goal. The Islanders would like to get a goal here, Jiggs. They're down two goals, three to one. After scoring their first goal, Merrick at 48 seconds from Potvin, and then it's been three unanswered goals by the New York Rangers. 
A power play here, 34 seconds, as you mentioned, still remaining in that penalty. The Islanders have not had a shot on the net yet. They've been around it. They've tried to shoot it at the net. It's been blocked by some of the Ranger defensemen. So far, nothing has been dangerous to Baker. We're looking at Trache and Duguay on this faceoff. Duguay got the draw, came back to the side of the net and picked up by Beck. Head on the right side for Talapus. A bad day. Oh, Gillies really hammered bad day. Bad day is looking at Gillies. His helmet is over in the far side of the ice, as you can see. Clark Gillies lined him up. Bad day stepped out of the way quickly. What he left in the way was his head. We'll get a look at it, we hope. And here it is as Beck turns. Makes the pass up to Talifus on the right side. Talifus going to move the puck across the ice to the defenseman. As you see on the top of your screen, we did not keep it going. I don't know why we're going to see it. We didn't see anything there. But anyway, as you could have seen there, you could almost anticipate that anticipate that Talifus passed to Badney, and that's when Gillies took a run at him. They've already cut up the film and sent it to wherever they... The Hall of Fame, I guess. No, they, well, they put together the instruction movies on how to. <laughs> how to body check. Here's Popan at center. Right side to Gillies. Across the line. Popan was knocked down. The fans react to that. And the puck is loose. Duguay with it. Duguay checked by McKillen. Mike McKillen. Right side. Rossi had a piece of it. Couldn't control it. Here's Duguay again. Across the line with Talifus. Talifus tied up by Popan. Hold on to the corner, and Gillies came back to the puck, couldn't get a stick on it. Rache starts out on the left side, teams at equal strength again. Rache at the Ranger line, and Gillies comes in quickly, right in front, shoots the ball, and it's on it. So close, Gillies did not get the shot away quick enough, he knew he had to hurry, but it did not make it. Rache holding the blue line beautifully, he knows Gillies has got a head of steam, back has his back turn, as the pass comes to the onrushing Gillies. He cannot control it again, and just right there, as he went to shoot it, the green light goes on to stop the period, stop the play. So at the end of the first period, the score, the New York Rangers, three, the New York Islanders, one. It's at center ice, Goring is out there along with Caller. On the draw, went to the Rangers, Allison, check. Here's Caller clearing it across the line. Allison managed to get it back into the Islanders zone. Now cleared by Merrick to Goring. Goring up the right side. This is Caller coming in against Beck. Caller centers to Goring and off his stick and just wide. Doug Sullivan in the center ice for Allison. Maloney with him. Allison across the line ran into Gord Lane and Lorimer backhanded the puck to center. Now Allison again across the Islander line to Maloney on left wing. Back to Allison. He was checked and Caller starts up. Anders Caller at center. Up one wide of the Ranger goal, intended for Tonelli as he came off the boards. Picked up by Goring. Goring plays it back to the goal. Tonelli chasing it. Beck trying to tie him up. Did, but Caller stole the puck. Anders Caller. And Allison to the side of the goal. Beck with a foul. As Beck comes out of the corner, the fans boo because Allison still had a hold of Caller. Beck across the line. A blast. Smith the save. Beck drilled that one from the blue line. And now Popan to Tonelli. John Tonelli lost it in his own zone. Reschner to Hedberg. Anders Hedberg shoots that was blocked at the side of the goal. Picked up by Nielsen. Paul Nielsen comes right out in front. Shoots. That one wide in the net. John Tonelli starting out. Tonelli hands it to Laidlaw at center ice. Tom Laidlaw. Backhanding it into the Islanders' zone, but offside as Poffan was down on top of Greshner. There's a break in the action with the score. New York Rangers 3, New York Islanders 1. When you're number one, you work hard to stay number one. That's why your Nassau Suffolk Chevy dealers are going all out with the Citation this year. Citation, the sure-footed front-wheel drive car of the 80s, is new for 81. Best-selling new model Chevy ever introduced. It's got it all, including excitement. See the Citation. Look before you import at your Nassau Suffolk Chevy dealer. Islanders making a lot of small mistakes. Barry Beck gets a ripping shot away, but look where Bobby Lorimer is on the shot. Instead of going to Beck, forcing him, trying to deflect the puck, he moves back and lets Beck have the shot. A hard shot. Billy Smith, what a reflex action. 
Again, Dr. Rivian would be happy with him. Got his glove on that one at the last second. And of course, reference to the eye training done by the New York Islanders as we have a whistle and a face-off in the center ice zone. I thought it was just the goaltenders at one time, Jake, but it's not. It's any of the players that would like to take it, and a lot of them do, if not all of them, work with Dr. Rivian in hand-eye coordination and... The better you can see, the better you can play because your reaction is better. It all makes sense, and he has proven, and it is a proven fact, that if you see better, you play better. Did you try it when you were playing here? No, as a matter of fact, it just uh, just came into being when, uh, around the time I was <laughs> getting ready to leave, so it really didn't matter. <laughs> Morrow just tried a long shot. It came out in front. Bossy popped that from the blue line, shooting the left wide of the net. Morrow into the corner to Bossy. Bossy centered one. It was tipped by Gillies, and Baker may have gotten a piece of that. Islanders putting on pressure. Vickers back to the Rangers around the boards in a zone zone for Talapas. Talapas dropped the puck for that day up the left side to Vickers. Over the Islander line, Vickers chased to the boards on Morrow's check. The puck loose. Talapas in deep, trying to put it out in front. Vickers with it now. A backhand shot blocked and cleared. Beck from the blue line. Shoots one, spit the save, and he covers up. Close call. Billy Smith getting the save. He's down again, Jags. He's down a little early. This is not like Billy Smith has been as the shot comes in. A hard shot again from Beck. This is Vickers as he comes out in front of the net. His backhand broken up by number six, Morrow. But look at the shot by Beck as it deflects in the skates as Dennis Potvan wrestles with Dean Talifus. Talifus number 19. The puck deflected off either Talifus or Potvan. Hit Billy Smith in the right pad. Smith pounced on the puck smartly. Good stop by Billy Smith, even if he did not see it. Good coverage by Potvan. Good shot by Beck. Billy Smith does seem to be a little unnatural in some of the things he's doing in this game. He did the other night. He seemed to be down a lot, possibly because the puck seemed to be bouncing a lot. But tonight, the ice seems to be back to its old self. It's very good. Now, Mary trying to bring it out of his own zone. Lost it to Laidlaw. Laidlaw, right side. Valine in. Drop pass. Broken up. Here's Mary. Hey, Mary. Lost that Ranger line, fed it through, intended for Nystrom, who was blocked, came back to Merrick, and they rolled it, came outside the line. Offside has been called. A break in the action here with the score, the New York Rangers 3, the New York Islanders 1. If I were a rich man, yababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababab
asking for it, but not getting it. <laughs> well, listen, I can try and be a director, too. <laughs> Why not? Oh, Nielsen against Brian Trache. And the draw goes back to the Ranger goal. Right up by Trache. Gillies. Oh, did lose. Trache is dragged down by Beck. A couple of Rangers hit the deck, and the puck comes out on the right point. Reshner fed it out of the reach of Hedberg. Smith way out of the Islander goal, plays it around the boards to Gillies. Ups it to center. That's Gatsopoulos back for the Rangers. Morrow will have to play catch up. Now the boards to Clark Gillies. The Trache kicked it into center ice, then Trache was knocked down. Gatsopoulos named into him as Beck leads the Ranger right. Beck again shooting one into the Islander zone. Smith left it back in the goal. The Rangers put it out in front, and Gresner's shot went wide. Mark Gillies slapping at it. Held in. Long shot. Smith the save. Plays it back of the goal for Pate. And a set on this right side. Rossi moving with him along with Gillies. Pate over the line. Got a solid hit on the play from Hospodar. Radney handed it to Clark Gillies. Gillies right at the Ranger line. Now Trache shoots it in, but Bossy was ahead of the play. Four and a half minutes have gone by in period number two, and the Islanders forced to play catch-up after getting the opening goal tonight, down three to one. Islanders look a little frustrated as we see Steve Baker, the goaltender. He, along with Billy Smith, lead the playoffs with seven wins apiece. Good check by Katsopoulos on Dennis Potvin, much like Potvin hit Dugay, not quite as hard. Dennis Potvin going laterally inside the Ranger blue line. Katsopoulos, knowing that the left winger was covered, came across and hit Potvin. Our viewers in the Boston area tonight, in particular, paying attention to Baker. It was one of five Ranger goaltenders this year in the Boston area. Vadney clearing the puck into the Islander zone. It's dumped out of there by Lorimer. This is Vadney. Hospital went back to Allison across the line to Don Maloney, but offside against the New York Rangers. A lot of offsides, Jake's close checking, but the Rangers are carrying the play again to the New York Islanders. The Islanders cannot afford it. They're down three to one. They've got to start to play some kind of catch-up hockey. They've got to force the Rangers to make mistakes. They've got to use good forechecking, checking, a lot of speed. Go back and take the fundamentals of the game, execute them at their best, at the best they know how, which should be good enough to get them a goal or two and get back into this hockey game. Right now, the Rangers are not allowing the Islanders any leeway. They're on top of them. The Islanders are chasing the puck. The Rangers have it. Al Arbor has sent a Wayne Merrick, Bob Nystrom, and Dwayne Sutter against this line of Ron Duguay, Dean Talifis, and Steve Vickers for the Rangers. McEwen and Langevin, the Islander defense. Duguay on the draw, he's cleared the puck into the Islander zone. Langevin over to McEwen. Mike McEwen comes to center. Fired one around the boards. Baker cuts that off. And quickly as Merrick ran into Baker, but the Rangers able to feed it ahead and just out of the reach of Duguay. Went right to Smith. Billy Smith around behind his own goal. Langevin checked his talent. It's within quickly center. Here's Duguay. Turn, shoots. Hit Langevin. Langevin to Nystrom. Bob Nystrom back to Langevin. Langevin up the left side to Nystrom into center ice. Nystrom up by Duguay. There's going to be a Ranger penalty. Duguay will get the gate for hooking. The Islanders go to the power play. There's a break in the action with the score. New York Rangers 3. New York Islanders 1. Rangers penalty. These people have something many other airline employees don't, a job. Because last year, while other airlines laid off almost 18,000 people, Eastern actually added some. We're trying to keep people because that means keeping service. And we don't think you should have to give up service just because times are tough. After all, I may get you to try Eastern once, but these are the people who make you want to come back. At Eastern, we have to earn our wings every day. Another opportunity for the New York Islanders, a power play as Duguay pulls Bobby Nystrom off the puck and down. As the puck goes down the ice, Duguay for hooking. As I mentioned, the Islanders have another opportunity with a power play. Now it's Goring starting the rush. Gave it to Potvin. Back to Butch Goring. Goring and Potvin on the points. Trache, Bossy, and Gillies up front. This is Bossy at the blue line. Checked on the play. Couldn't hold it in the Rangers zone, and Trache came back. 
That's Poffan on the far side. Rache straddled the blue line. Poffan gave it to Bossy. His shot hit Netheray. Goes to the corner. Rache ran into Beck. Now Gillies to Bossy, and that was broken up. Bossy in the corner, trying to put it out in front. He and Gillies wrestling one another. Now Clark Gillies back in the goal. Ian Badler. Rache dug it loose. Unable to center it on the first attempt. Gillies poking it back in the goal. Bossy tries to come out to the side. Trache now to the blue line. Things always seem to get worse before they get better. The Islanders can't move the puck in the Rangers' end of the ice. They move it all the way down the ice without any help from the Rangers. 50 seconds left in this power play. On Maloney, on side they roll, and then Bafan took him into the boards in the Islanders' zone. Tonelli dug the puck loose for Mike McEwen. McEwen at center ice, over the Ranger line. McEwen a shot, Baker the pad save, and Badney clears it, but not out. McEwen jumps one around the board, back of the Ranger goal, back there to clear it. Ahead to Don Maloney, and he forces the Islanders back. Good penalty killing again by the New York Rangers. The Islanders are all over the place. Too many single efforts are not playing as a team on the power play. Hedberg just all the puck, and McEwen comes back to up end. Hedberg. Islanders will draw a penalty as Tonelli picks up the puck now. There's a break in the action with the score. The New York Rangers three, the New York Islanders one. This bud's for everyone who wraps it, stacks it, and sacks it. This bud's for you. For all you do, the king of beers is coming through. Yeah, just for you. That distinctively clean, crisp taste that says Budweiser. For all you do, this Bud's for you. The intensity is not there for the New York Islanders. It is there for the New York Rangers. Nielsen steals the puck away from McEwen. McEwen trips him and gets a penalty. Five seconds left in the penalty to Dugay, and then the Islanders will be a man short. That's the case now as Dugay heads for the Ranger bench. Laidlaw feeding a brink wide to Walt Nielsen. Nielsen to Hedberg at center, off his stick, cleared by Lane, picked up by Laidlaw. Goring for the Islanders, broke up the Ranger rush. Now Nielsen sends Greshner across the line. Greshner goes back to the net with it. Turns in the corner, Lorimer on top of him. Ron Greshner drew a crowd. Lorimer finally dug the puck loose, got it to Goring. Goring with Carroll, two on two. Goring over the Ranger line, he shoots, he scores! Another hard blast. From a distance, good Goring. What a blast he must go. The six of number four, Wayne Greshner, Goring through center ice. Good end view here. Watch him wind up and let it go. It did not hit Greshner as I thought. It just dipped. He had a knuckleball shot. As Butch Goring gives the Islanders a shorthanded goal. A quick shot hit the catching glove on the bottom side of Steve Baker. And in it goes, the Islanders, a shorthanded goal, get within one goal of the New York Rangers. A minute and 11 seconds left on the penalty to Mike McEwen. The Islanders, quick scoring, a shorthanded goal, it's 3-2. to two. Larmer, the only assist, the goal at the 8-11 mark. Now, Kenny Morrill has forced the Rangers to go back. That's the fifth shorthanded goal in the playoffs. This is game number 11 in the playoffs for the Rangers, five, or for the Islanders, excuse me, and five shorthanded goals. Rache, back of his own goal. Back to the far corner, Sullivan. Rache knocked it off his stick. Now Don Maloney around behind the goal to Allison. Allison put it out in front, that tip wide. Here's Sullivan. Doug Sullivan to the blue line. It's intercepted by Callard. Callard to Trotche. Trotche over the line on left wing. He shoots that deflected wide of the net as it came off Baxter. Allison back for the Rangers. He and Maloney two on two. Across the line. Allison cuts to the right. Gave the puck. Well intended it for Katsopoulos. And Goring got back to take it away from him. Now Allison with 12 seconds left in the power play. 
Mike Allison into the corner. Malifus looks for a man. Malifus trying to give it to Maloney. Maloney is checked back to the goal, and Denny Potvin fires it down the ice. Islanders will be called back for racing. Well, it's played by Baker, so there is no call. The team's at six aside again, and now Beck has stopped at the length of the ice. Morrow back to get it, and that'll be an icing call. Big goal for the Islanders, a shorthanded goal by Goring. We're midway through the second period, and there's a break in the action with the score. New York Rangers 3, the New York Islanders 2. WHN gives you Willie Nelson. WHN, 1050 on your AM radio dial. Thank you very much. We look. The fans picking it up. Let's go, Islanders. The Islanders are trying to get going. Short-handed goal by foot scoring at 8-11. 10-24 remaining here in the second period. The game is just about halfway over. 3-2 Rangers. Rangers got the draw. This is Vickers with Talifus. Talifus on right wing. Can't get around Lane. Now Talifus checked again by Lane. Talifus picks it up. Nystrom on top of him now. And again, Talifus comes off the boards with the puck. Back to the blue line. This is Godney with a shot. Ricochets this game off Merrick. And Nystrom dumps it outside the blue line. Duguay with it. It's going outside. Over the line and hold down. It'll be a penalty against the Rangers. Merrick drops it back to Lane. Marty Lane, a long shot goes wide of the goal, and as Vickers picks up the puck, play is called. Sutter broke in at the blue line, then he was hooked, and the Islanders are going to the power play. They're down by a goal here. A golden opportunity coming up. Ron Duguay, another penalty, as Sutter breaks away. Duguay pulls him down from behind. Good hustle by Dwayne Sutter as he intercepts the pass by Ron Duguay. Duguay right from behind pulls him down. Vadney was angling on him. No penalty shot, of course. There was one, not one warranted in that position. Vadney was closing quickly from the side on Sutter. Duguay pulled him down from behind. The Islanders, who had just scored a shorthanded goal, now go to the power play. Jake, the power play has not been reacting that well so far in this hockey game. Nor in the series, in fact, in the entire regular season against the Rangers, the power play did not work as well as it did against the rest of the league. Islanders have scored at least one power play goal in every one of their playoff games so far. Here's the great chance now. Popang giving it to McEwen. McEwen in front. Bossy shoots and scores. We're tied at three. It did not take the Islanders very long. Look at Bossy, the top of your screen, he doesn't stop the puck. He just drills it into the short side. Get a good look at the faceoff. That's Nielsen. Bache beat him back to pot fan. 16 McEwen. And that's 22 Bossy. And you don't have to give him much room to put it in. A short-handed goal, a power play goal in the Islanders. It's high to score. There's still 939 remaining in the second period. A short-handed goal can do it every time. Yeah, that'll get you pumped up, won't it? No question. The Islanders were not playing well, Jake. One, because the Rangers were not letting them. And two, the Islanders did not have the intensity that they should have had in this hockey game right from the beginning. Give the credit to Merrick for the first goal, but the Islanders did not take advantage of it and go on from there. The Rangers picked it up. They were down, but they come right back quickly. But now the Islanders have come back to tie the score at three apiece. Bossy's ninth goal in the playoffs, his first in this series. McEwen and Pop and the assist give a lot of credit to Trotche getting that draw. 
Now this is Jerry Gillis for the Rangers. Backhanding it into the Islanders zone. Londerman chasing it. Now to John Tonelli too far. Katsopoulos from the line. His shot was deflected and this is Marini. Marini into center ice. Hector checked on the play. McEwen moving up. Poked it into the Rangers zone. Dave Chase and now Marini squares off at the blue line with Jerry Gillis. Van Halleman backs everybody up as Marini and Gillis go at it. Hector hadn't played all that much tonight. Marini getting the better of Jerry Gillis. Wrestles him to the ice and in come linesman Ray Scapinello and Bob Hodges. I still don't know what got that all started. We have not had a fight in the two games for one game and a half so far. That's the first one. I'm not sure how Hector Marini got as mad as he did at Gillis or vice versa, but they decided to have it out. A break in the action with the score, the New York Islanders three, the New York Rangers three. Matching minors and matching major penalties. They both get two and five. High sticking and fighting to Jerry Gillis of the Rangers, Hector Marini of the New York Islanders. I didn't say anything to uh, provoke a fight, Jigs. They uh, they bumped along the board, but we've seen some tremendous hitting in the first game. Even more here so far in the second game. But everybody's kept the sticks down. They've kept the elbows uh, pretty well intact. A lot of head-on hitting, grueling checks at times, but. First fight in one and a half games. Pretty good, really, when you think about it. There's probably been more fights in the seats. I think you're right. This has been billed as a series that we would probably remember forever because of the heavy hitting and the fisticuffs. It hasn't been that way yet. Now here's Bossy at the blue line. The Trotje lined up and off in front, but it was cleared just in the nick of time by Bad Day. And for the Islanders is Borrell. Pucked up on edge, Morrow, the bossy off his dick. Back court is Carol Batte. Made it to the open wing, Greshner now for the Rangers. And he stepped in front of him, and Trotje fed it to Bossy. Back to Trotje. Ryan, the Mike, drink wide for Denny. Batte, the Morrow, from the blue line. He shoots one, back for the save. Off Nelson with the rebound. Out into center ice. Across the Islander line, Nelson cut to the left and fell as he ran into Trotje. There's Popan starting back. Popan to Dwayne Sutter. Sutter shooting, Baker the pass save, and the rebound goes wide. It's fared by the Rangers and just wide of the net. Now Greshner out into center ice. Eric stepped in front of his man, Hedberg, Morrow knocked down. And Laidlaw dumps the puck into the Islander zone. Backcourt is Denny Popan. Rangers in the middle of a change. Long pass to Sutter. Up to Nystrom. He was turned around in the play, and the puck ends up back in the Ranger goal. Nystrom in digging for it. Got it to Sutter. Sutter in the corner. Sutter is out of the reach of everybody. Here's Lane a shot. Hit the side of the net. Eric the rebound. To Sutter back in the goal. Lane Sutter sidesteps Allison. Allison is sitting on top of the puck. Now it comes loose. Eric with it at the side of the net. Baker comes out to cover up. The intensity is back in the Islanders game. The fans feel it, the players know it. Hardest thing in the world is to play catch-up hockey, Jake, when you're chasing the puck instead of handling it. The Islanders are coming back. This is Sutter on a pass from Dennis Potvin. A good shot. Watch the good save there by Steve Baker. Good angle. He's out well. Got down quickly, got his right leg out, made a good save. Good point. I think he's out further tonight. Tuesday night, he appeared to be backed in a little bit uh, on the play, so one the goals of, have beat him especially. One of the assets of having a John Davidson watching the game is that I'm sure he must have picked that up. Now Lane, a long shot. The rebound is there! Scoring a second of the night. Islanders lead. The Islanders, an emotional team, like most hockey teams. And the fellow that really got them going, good scoring with a short-handed ball. Gets another one. Gordy Lane shot from the point. What a shot. Look at the save by Baker. The rebound by Goring. Nobody's near him. And Goring puts it under the outstretched leg of goaltender Steve Baker. That's a good shot by Gordy Lane from the point. And 
Laidlaw, number two, could not contain the Pestuous Butch Goring, and Goring is second goal of the game. Gets the Islanders their lead, four to three. And fourth in the playoffs, number 91, Butch Goring. Goring at the 12:44 mark. Here's Duque charging into the Islanders. Ellen Lodgeman steps in front of him, icing against the Rangers. 12:44. You see the respect that players have for Dave Longevin as Dugay Longevin raced for the puck. Dugay knew that if he went in ahead of Longevin, he was going to really take it. Longevin got there, touched the puck. The same thing we just talked about, Jake, about the fact that Baker was well out covering the angles. He had to do that on Gordy Lane, but he couldn't control the rebound. He doesn't really have to in that position. His defense is supposed to help him. The center iceman is supposed to be back in deep, helping the defense cover any kind of rebound that may come from a shot by a defenseman or a point man. In this case, it was Gordy Lane. He made a good save on the initial shot, but Goring was left alone to go in and knock it through the legs of Steve Baker. Well, the Islanders are back now in the lead of, after getting the opening goal and allowing three straight. They have come back with three straight here in the second period. Goring with two, Bossy on the power play getting the other one. Islanders were guilty somewhat of the same thing back in the early part of the second period and in the third period late where they were not covering well in front of the net and it was costly to them and now the same thing has just cost the New York Rangers their lead. Here's Barrick with a shot. Baker, an excellent save and up comes Duguay. Duguay across the Islander line. Can't get through the defense. The puck loose. Sutter stepped in front of Vickers. Back of the goal to Potvin. Around to Dwayne Sutter. Picked up in step by Jenny Potvin. Now to Sutter. The Merrick could center ice. Send Sutter over the line. Sutter against Beck. Wayne Sutter centers and it was cleared just wide of the net. Nystrom with it. Bobby Nystrom back of the net to Merrick. Merrick trying to set up Sutter. Beck has the clamps on Sutter. Here's Popman at the line and the puck deflected off him. It's picked up by Duguay. Duguay failed to clear it up. Edberg gave it to Katsopoulos up the right side but out of the reach of Vickers and the Rangers are going to be called for icing the puck. They enjoy it. They're into the hockey game here in the Nassau Coliseum. The Rangers had led it 3-1 to one at one point in this period. The Islanders have come storming back. Calgary, first period, 1-0 over Minnesota. That must have been what the fans were yelling about. I did not see it posted on the Matrix. Or was it back to the icing? Yeah, they were just reacting to the Ranger icing I guess call. they're going to, yeah, they're pumped up. They're happy, so they're going to cheer anything that's negative to the Rangers and positive to the Islanders. Hector Marini has gone to the Islander dressing room. He's out of the penalty box where he is serving seven minutes, two for high sticking and five for fighting. Obviously his equipment probably needs to be repaired. On the draw, it popped over the stick of Gillies and Hedberg turns at his own blue line. Hedberg up the middle to Greshner. Make it the lane, rather, and Lorimer back as Gresner can't cut in around the defense. Edberg falling back in the goal. Oak Nielsen puts it out in front. Ospinar turning the stop down, and up comes Lorimer. He and Gillies two on one. Lorimer over the line, comes in, shoots to the foot over the stick of Bad Day, right into the catching glove of Baker. Jiggs, the game is turning out to be a very close checking game. Everybody taking somebody. Bart Gillies talking with Bobby Lorimer. They had a chance for a two-on-one. Lorimer did not give the puck to Gillies when he should have. That would have released Gillies to go across the line with the puck, the blue line, excuse me. He did not give it to him. He kept coming. Gillies had to stop. That negated the two-on-one situation to give the Rangers a chance to get back. Now, Old Nielsen on this face-off against Brian Trotje. Trotje got the draw. Bossy shot. Oh! Just went wide. Baker may have gotten just a piece of it. That day in the corner. Ahead on the left wing. Reschner dumps it into the center ice zone. Back comes Popan. Danny Popan to Clark Gillies. Gillies to Trache at center. Break wide to Mike Bossy. Bossy trying to get it back to Popan. It was broken up and this is Hedberg. Nielsen back to Hedberg. Can't get around the defensive work. Nielsen the shot. Smith the save. Over top of the net. 
Eddie Morrow dumps it the length of the ice. Rolling on edge, curls just wide of the Ranger goal, and the Islanders are called for icing. A player on the ice who is incensed, mad, is Alt Nielsen, number 11. Look at the check by Morrow, if we can have a look at it. What a shot that Kenny Morrow, good timing, a man that's very difficult to hit. Anders Hedberg, look at the timing there, Morrow really nailed him. Nielsen gets the shot away, that puck hit the stick of Dennis Potvin just over the uprights, that's a field goal for sure. Here's another good look, good camera work, look at this check by Morrow on Nielsen, man did he nail him. Good timing, that's not easy to do. Nielsen shot, deflected just over the glove of Billy Smith, just through the uprights over the net. On the faceoff, the Islanders have cleared it to center, into the Rangers zone. Waved off the icing and Laidlaw starts to bring it up. Tom Laidlaw. Up the right wing, out of the reach of everybody. Longevin chasing it. He and Valet go to the corner together and Smith out of the net. Cleared it ahead. This is Anders Caller. Caller over the Ranger line. Around Laidlaw. Stops. Caller back to the blue line. Longevin will drive. Deflected it. Rangers fail to clear it. It's Luke Baker jabbed at it. Goring a backhand shot. Baker down. Goring with the puck again. Goring into the corner. Along the boards, knocked off the puck by Nethery, Caller is tied up, he comes to the corner now, trying to get it to Goring, it's broken up and cleared by Vickers, one on one, Ballet to center, Longevin back, a drive, spits the save off Ballet, on Tonelli trying to clear it up, Nethery picks it up, Lance Nethery shuttled one off in front of his block, Goring knocked down, his helmet came off and here's Keller with the puck to Tonelli, Tonelli on right way. In deep, looks for some help, trying to get it to Keller. He was checked in the play by Nethery, and out comes Sullivan. Sullivan to Don Maloney on left wing, over the Islander line, dropped it back. Sullivan shot for off Longevin. Smith covers up and holds on for a faceoff. Jake, they are hitting hard. Butch Goring hit a few moments ago by Kotsopoulos, and then Kotsopoulos gives them a little extra. Everybody is giving everything they've got right now in this hockey game. The intensity has really picked up since Butch Goring scored the shorthanded goal. Here's Andy Keller trying to get down the outside. Cannot do it. Good pass. Look at here. Right there to Longevin. The puck gets through. It's rolling. No one can get a hold of it. Look at here. Andy Keller can't get it. He's checked by number two, Laidlaw. Puck all over the place. Nobody can get a handle, but the Rangers managed to clear it. Islanders four, Rangers three. Little less than four minutes remaining in this, the second period. Eric at center to Don Maloney. Now Maloney is hit hard by Trotchin. There's going to be an Islander penalty. Rangers get the extra man on, but Smith has come out of the net to play the puck, and Brian Trotchin is headed for the penalty box. Going to be an elbowing penalty, I believe, Jiggs. A break in the action with the score. The New York Islanders for the New York Rangers, three. We get a good look at Brian Trotchin's penalty. Number 12, it's already happened. Number 12, boom, right there. Trotche hits Maloney. Don Maloney with a vicious elbow and draws a penalty. Two minutes for elbowing. The New York Rangers are now going to go on a power play. Edberg scored a power play goal back in the first period. This will be their second power play chance of this period. Back from the faceoff, and he rifled one wide. Goring has cleared at the length of the ice. Goring, now Merrick is replaced by Billy Carroll. Goring stays out there with Pop and Morrow on defense. The fans going back. Very back. Lost it to Goring, to Carroll. He couldn't pick it up. This is Vickers. Back to Greshner. Greshner. Out on that right side. Nielsen back to Greshner. Over the Islander line. Smith out of the net to cut it off. Billy Smith played it around the board, so Nielsen at the right point. Centered one off the skate in front. Hit the diving save, and there's Pat Van a right going down the ice. All right, save by Billy Smith. Good reaction, good timing. Smith had no choice but to fall and make that save. Now back again, up the left side to Vickers. Hedberg. And over the line, played it off the boards, but Caller is there. Caller dumps it down. Here's Carroll chasing it. That'll force Baker to come out of the net. Around the boards on the left side for Steve Vickers. Vickers just did get it away from Caller into center, but out of the reach of Nielsen. 
Now Bad Day with it. He steps in over the line. Bad Day to Vickers. Taylor watching Vickers. Center from Solomon was there, but he pulled the trigger too quickly. Now Nielsen at the point. Checked by Taylor, and the puck comes out into center. 35 seconds left of the penalty to Trottier. Late law. The Bad Day. Bad day across the Islander line, trying to get it around the defensive work of Carroll. That's Don Maloney poking it to Allison. Allison back to the net. Out in front, Laidlaw winds up. He shoots, fifth the stick save. Bad day. In front for Solomon, and again he had trouble with the pocket. Here's Potvin. Potvin dumps it the length of the ice. Six seconds left in the penalty time. A minute and a half remaining in the second period. Laidlaw carrying it to center. Trache back on as the Islanders chase the puck in their own zone. Lorimer to John Cinelli. Cinelli dumps it into center ice. Loring chasing back. Back all the way around behind the net to the right corner. And Hospodar dumps it into center ice for Allison. Allison over the line. Trying to set up Talifus who had blown in on the right wing. Dean Talifus, Jack on the boards. But it's the play in the period as Lane is knocked down. The puck comes up beneath him. Close call again, Jake. This time it scored Lane. He goes across the ice after Allison. And leaving Talifus wide open as he goes in on the right wing side. The pass was a little bit high, a little bit hard. He could not control it. It was only back in the first period that Dugay took the check from Potvin on a similar play, but got the puck to the same Talifus and put it in. Another score, two to nothing now. First period still. Calgary leading two to nothing. Schwinard and Radicalio have scored for the Calgary Flames. They're playing at the Stampede Corral in Calgary tonight. We're at the Nassau Coliseum for this action as Dugay plays it into the corner in the Islander zone. Talapus tied up by Lane. The puck comes loose. Merrick chasing it. Here Billy Smith yelling at Lane Merrick to go all the way. Merrick at center was checked. The puck loose in the Ranger zone. Bossy chasing it. Hospitar beat him to it. Boxcar ahead out of the reach of Gillis. Out into the Islander zone. Bobby Lorimer slapped it right at Dugay. Picked up by Bossy. Bossy over the line. Not flying as he got the pass to Trache to Gillies. He shoots. That went wide. Bossy has been hurt. There's going to be a Ranger penalty as trainer Ron Waski comes out to attend to Mike Bossy. As he moved into the Ranger zone, he got cranked. He was falling. When the, when the hit came, he's been caught around the head. Let's take Here's a look Michael at this. Bossy cutting across the blue line. He's going left to right. You see him putting the brakes on. The elbow goes out. He ducked under it. He avoided Rangers most of the check, but a stick or something had caught him. Hospital, watch him coming across. Rossi tries to hold up to go around. Oh, it's an elbow. What a shot. Tremendous shot by Hospital on Michael Bossy. Money similar to the one Brian Pache threw and caught. Don Maloney with earlier. Brache had just been out of the box a short time when Hospodar hit Michael Bossy. Dennis Potvin is what he's doing, Jake. He's looking for a five-minute penalty. Obviously, Michael Bossy is cut. His nose is bleeding. You can see Ron Waski tending to him. Bossy's coming back out to play. He's not easily kept down. But it's only a two-minute fighter against Hospodar, called at 1939. The Islanders were down 3-1 to one at the end of the first period. They've come back to take a 4-3 to three lead. Now the Rangers got the puck to Dugay. Resting and turning with it. Headed up the right side. Don Maloney trying to cut in. Poke checked away from him by McKillop. Hop at at center. Over to Bossy, and that's going to do it for period number two. The horn sounds. And the Islanders, three unanswered goals in the middle stanza. A short-handed goal, a power play goal, and a full-strength goal. And as they head for the dressing room at the end of two periods, the score. The New York Islanders. Now, the guy he's going against here, you may not recognize him backing up. That's Alf Nielsen, number 11. Center Iceman and Goring shot. Baker got a piece of it. He did not get much of it. A good blast by Butch Goring. That made the score 3-2. to two. 
As we look at Butch Goring crossing the line, good camera work. Look at Nielsen moving over. He's trying to get in front of it. He's screening his goaltender a little bit, but the puck eludes. Steve Baker, and the score is 3-2. to two. Goring from Lorimer. That came at 8-11. At 10-21, Bossy scores from Potvin and McEwen from the faceoff. Beautiful draw. Potvin to McEwen. Look where Bossy's standing. Nobody's near him. He's got lots of room, and Bossy does not need that much room, and he puts it in. Good face-off here again. Watch this one. Brache clean to Potvin. McEwen, now he knows right where Bossy's going to be. Gives it to him. Nice flat pass. It's right on the ice. It's not bobbling. It's a good flat pass by Mike McEwen, and Bossy puts it away. That tied the score at three apiece. That was a power play goal that Bossy scored. And here's the goal, the one that put them ahead. Look at the shot by Gordy Lane. That puck was rolling, but look where it stayed, right on the ice. Good stop there by Baker. He cannot recover. That's Goring coming in quickly. Laidlaw, number two, did not get to Goring quick enough, and Goring had the puck between the legs of Steve Baker and an aroused New York Islanders, an intensified team, took the lead. Butch, Gorey from Butch Goring from Gordy Lane and John Tonelli. That was at 12-14. The Islanders back in front, 4-3. Jig, something became very evident there. On the ice for the Islanders and getting points. Number four, Bobby Lorimer. And number 24, Gordy Lane, taking an offensive part in the Islanders' attack. Something that you do not see a great deal of. But Lane has been playing well since he's come back has taken a little more of an offensive part. Lorimer is back to his old self again and playing fine hockey both ways. 4-3 lead favor the Islanders after two. They've outshot the New York Rangers through two periods by a margin of 17 to 12. On the out-of-town scoreboard, first period from Calgary, the Flames were ahead of Minnesota by a two to nothing score. Rada Calio and Swedard having scored for Calgary. The Nassau Veterans Memorial Coliseum welcomes the Black Velvet Pro Rodeo Tournament of Champions. May 29th, 30th, and 31st, the $150,000 Black Velvet Pro Rodeo Tournament of Champions will be featuring more than 50 of rodeo's top money winners. The fun and excitement will include bareback rock riding, saddle rock riding, bull riding, and clowns competing in freestyle tag with a Brahma Cross Rodeo Bowl. Also featured, music by Craig Chambers and the Rio Grande Band, the Western Exhibit, and a sale and a petting zoo for the kids. The dates and shows, Friday, May 29th at 8 p.m., Saturday, May 30th at 2 and 8 p.m., Sunday, May 31st at 2 p.m. Tickets 10, 9, and 8. In fact, I've asked several people, and uh, I understand he's not here. He thought he might be here, but uh, he's around town. I know that much. Yes, he was guesting on a radio show in New York tonight, but he has been not have been very visible during this series or the previous series, I understand. Now Denny Potvin feeding the puck to Trache to Gillies. Bossy open in the right wing, blows it over the line, around back, back to Gillies, hand on the shot. Back of the goal, it's Gillies with it again. Mark Gillies being tied up by Beck. Couple of big, strong guys, and the Rangers are able to clear it out of their own zone. It's Duguay. Duguay pulled away from Trache. Sends Talifus over the line. Potvin comes back. Talifus the shot and it hit Denny Potvin. Gillies unable to pick it up. Now McEwen lugs it out of his own zone. Around the check at the line. It was Talifus who tried to lean into him. McEwen to Trache. Ryan Trache in the far corner. Looks for some help. Bossy is open in front. Trache can't get it to him. Here's McEwen a drive and it just went wide. Potvin from the left point. Let's it go and it hit Duque and he went down in a heap. Bossy back to Potvin. It comes out into center ice and Duque is limping. He'll Duque. take that off, Jiggs. He's just, just a momentary thing. Now Trache across the Ranger line. Slowed up from behind by Allison's check. Laidlaw rounds the net. Off the boards. McEwen with it outside the blue line. Mike McEwen. The Tonelli who was coming back. Laidlaw playing it deeper into his own zone. 12 seconds left in this power play. The Rangers content to play keep away as they basically killed it off. Now Lorimer from his own blue line had to turn to get away from Don Maloney. The pass to Lane. Games at six aside again. Lane to Goring is over the line. Goring a drive. Baker the glove save. Good penalty killing by the New York Rangers. 
Islanders got a couple of shots away. Baker made the save. Montvan hit Ron Duguay with a shot on the ankle, upper part of the foot possibly. They are uh, paralyzers, foot paralyzers when you get hurt in certain places along the leg. Feet lose all the sensation and feeling. That's why you saw Duguay limp to the sidelines. He'll be all right. Shake that off. It'll hurt a little bit more tomorrow than it does right now. Eric is up for the Islanders with Nystrom and Sutter. The puck cleared into the Islanders zone. Lorimer outraced Hedberg. Nielsen coming in. They have Greshner up on the left wing on this Ranger line. This is Greshner. Out in around lane. Greshner on the boards. Going tied up on the play. Comes off the boards. Takes a shot off the stick hand of Billy Smith. And he dies on top of the puck. There's a break in the action with the score. New York Islanders four. The New York Rangers three. Watch out, you're driving into an ambush. <gasps> That's right, your beautiful new car's finish has some deadly enemies. I need help. You need Ultra Seal, the incredible new protective sealer that shields your finish invisibly for three full years. Now that is shining. And it stays like that with no waxing or polishing. You mean? Just water, and that Ultra Seal shine will last. For three full years? For three full years. Hey, how do I get an Ultra Seal finish? Just ask your new car dealer. Let's go, Islanders. That's, I understand, what the horns blowing seem to mean. Rangers, can't count them out. They have skated well, hit well, played well throughout almost all of the hockey game. They got put behind on tremendous pressure in the second period by the Islanders. Three unanswered goals. Now Nystrom taking Potvin's pass comes to center. Eric moving with him. Nystrom cuts to the left over the line. Deep move around Hedberg. And then he was flattened as he tried to take the shot right into Vatsopoulos. Oh, Nielsen played it out of the reach of Hedberg. Merrick dumps one into center ice. Beck is there. The Hospodar. Hospodar. Nystrom ran into him. Here's Potvin with the puck. Send Sutter over the line on right wing. Dwayne Sutter shooting. Baker the glove save. That came in like a knuckleball. He seemed to have a change-up shot there, 18. It did, Jiggs, and what happened was that when Sutter took the pass, he takes it right at the blue line from Dennis Potvin. Just as he goes to shoot it, you could see, if you're watching the puck on the ice, you could see the puck kind of tip up like it hit a chip of ice, and when the stick goes right through it, it's like hitting a golf shot fat. The club actually goes right through the ball, this case, it's the stick going right through the puck, and the puck kind of comes up off the top of the stick. It does not have anything on it. No zip to it. But boy, that can... It can be a, a troublesome shot from in close like that for a goaltender because he's looking for a much harder shot, and it comes in as a change-up. And uh, that in itself can fool the goaltender like a change-up can fool a pitcher. I mean, a batter, excuse me, coming from the pitcher. Yeah. <laughs> Rangers went into the Islanders' zone offside, and Caller has come back to discuss the play with Van Helleman. As Delane is out there for the Rangers. Heathery is at center ice. Jerry Gillis is on the left side. It's Goring with Tonelli and Caller for the Islanders. Hospitar and Vadney, the Ranger defense. That's Gillis on the left side. The pass to Nethery, broken up by Langevin to Goring, and he dumps it into center. Vadney to Hospitar. Hospitar had to turn, go back into his own zone. Over to Vadney. Vadney lost control of it. And Hospitar able to force the Islanders back into center. Mike McEwen banks one off the boards and it goes up into the crowd. The dates again for the New York Islanders Summer Hockey School are July 20th to September 5th at the Cadillac Arena. Two week sessions. Youngsters from 7 to 10 pay a $100 registration fee. The older kids from 11 to 13 and 14 through 17 will be Working in two-week sessions, they'll pay $150 for two weeks at the New York Islanders Summer Hockey School. For information, contact the Cadillac Arena Manager at area code 516-935-3501. Little shoving, some pushing, and some heated words exchanged after the whistle. Goring involved in that, Eddie. Goring and Hospitar. Goring has been a real pain in the neck, a real thorn in the side of the New York Rangers tonight. You're he getting has, into the right area now, yeah. He has, he has been everywhere. He's been all over the ice, checking, hitting, shooting, scored two goals, one of them shorthanded. That was what got the Islanders going early in the second period. Duque is back out there for the Rangers. Merrick just took the face off away from him, and Lane's clearing attempt hit Talapus. 
and went into the crowd. So they'll bring the face off outside the Islanders' zone. The New York Islanders here at the Nassau Coliseum. 30 wins, 13, 35 wins, excuse me, 13 losses in playoff hockey. Wherever you're watching tonight's action, we hope you're enjoying it. Whether it be Channel 38 out of the Boston area, we understand we're into the Buffalo area tonight as well, and of course on Manhattan Cable. You'll soon be seeing Sports Channel on a regular basis. This game being brought to you as a free service by Sports Channel tonight. Welcome all our cable subscribers. Duguay a shot, Smith the save. Billy Smith making the save. Duguay giving a little room, and now they're going to press him. A little pressure on him after the whistle. Duguay makes the shot. Billy Smith made the save. A little more pushing and shoving. We're going to get a look at the shot by Ron Duguay as he crosses the Islander blue line. Gordy Lane taken aside. Talapus, there's the shot by Duguay. Talapus riding in with Lane. Duguay got a little extra room. He walked in behind him, let the shot go. Billy Smith angled him well. He was out on the top of his crease making the save. Duguay actually shot it right into him. It wasn't a tough save for Billy Smith, but it could have been because Duguay was at a good position to get any kind of shot he wanted away. Rache has come out just in case Merrick has waved out of this face-off. It's Duguay for the Rangers between Vickers and Talapus. Talapus checked on the boards by Lane. Here's Merrick around behind the goal. Checked in his own zone. Vickers tried to put it out in front. Duguay chasing it. Knocked off his stick from behind as Lorimer caught up to him and Nystrom has just poked it down into the Rangers zone. Laidlaw will pick it up back in the net. Up the right side is Talapus. Over the line goes Duguay. Talapus can't cut through the defense and up comes Merrick. Rangers in the middle of the change. Two men back now. Merrick waiting for Nystrom. The drop pass. Nystrom around the defense. Cutting in. But Beck came over to take him out of the play. Put out in front again but right to Duguay. Sutter is back out on the wing for the Islanders. It was he who cleared it. Vickers to Talapus. Trying to come in around McEwen. Talapus stops. In the blue line, back with a shot. Off the stick of Wondelman in front of the goal. Vickers out in front. Duguay shoots. Smith the save. Wondelman unable to clear it out on the first attempt. Comes back to the blue line. Hospitar taken into the boards by Nystrom. The puck loose. Duguay in front. Back to the backhand. Gave it to back. The shot goes wide. Wondelman around the glass and it goes up into the crowd. There's a break in the action. 14.59 left in regulation time and the score. New York Islanders 4, New York Rangers 3. Fire Company C, Manhattan. The last thing these guys have time to do is to wait online to cash their checks. So their chemical bank branch manager gave them a hand. He opened a special line so that when the firemen come in to cash their checks, they can get out fast. It's one of the ways we tailor each chemical bank branch to the needs of the community. As bankers, sure we like to see them save money. As citizens, we want to see them save lives. Again tonight, the minor officials are from Boston. Dick mentioned. 38. Any pop fan feeding the puck to Marini. Now to Billy Carroll as the Islanders came to center. Carroll shot it in on Hospitar. Hospitar checked by Carroll. Out in front. Marini shot went wide. Tonelli with it. Don Tonelli trying to get it to the blue line. It hit Don Maloney. Then Tonelli is hammered on the board by Hospitar. This is Sullivan for New York. Doug Sullivan across the line. Dumped it into the corner. Going after it is Morrill. Eddie Morrill fires it down the ice. Right on target, Baker steers it aside, and Padney will pick it up. Padney to Maloney too far. Lormer with it at center ice. Bob Lormer dumps it in, bounced right in front of Baker, and he had to scoop it up, played it to Padney. Padney is checked again. Billy Carroll does the job. Down into center ice comes Greshner. Across the line against Lormer. Couldn't get a shot away. Now Allison to Greshner, and Carroll got help from Tonelli to break up that play. Marini clearing it into the center ice zone, but into the crowd they roll. 13.56 left in this third period. You know, mentioning Boston and Channel 38, you've had the opportunity to work games out of the Boston Garden. An excellent crew that uh, handle all the pickups of the visiting teams at the Garden. Of course, their home games as well. 
Nice place, Jake. A lot of great memories. Great place to watch a game from uh, as we come in as visiting media people. A lot of dynamite people. I will miss if it ever happens to Boston Garden and hockey. 38 has an associate director. I can't remember her name. I miss her more than that. <laughs> Hand pass. <laughs> Called here, and we're going to face off Allison. That's it. Face off will be outside the New York Islander blue line. And not for the fun and frivolity. It's only a one goal Islander lead here. Again tonight, the Rangers seem to be putting on extra pressure on the Islanders in the third period. The Islanders with a one goal lead. They do not want to try and protect that. They've got to play the game offensively. They've got to do what they do best, and that's put it into the Ranger end like that and go in and get it. Buck in the Ranger zone. That's Bossy in for checking. Then he fell. Gillies comes after it. Kicked it to Bossy out in front. Touch it. Off there, neat move around Nielsen, then he couldn't get the shot away. Bossy picks it up. Mike Bossy, check. Out comes Hedberg. Now Greshner, one-on-one -on -one with Morrow. Greshner over the line, but he passed it right to Trotsche. And the Islanders force the Rangers back. Jack didn't wait long enough for his teammates to get him, and he is knocked down. Van Glovett. Bossy knocking back down this time. A break in the action with the score of the New York Islanders. Four, the New York Rangers, three. Why use a There Tomorrow package service when Sprint's Eastern Same Day service gets it there today? Eastern tags it and bags it and gets it on the next flight out. And that's over 1,400 of them to 85 cities every day. Your package is there today, guaranteed, or your money back. So when it has to get there today, you've got to hand it to Sprint. Eastern Same Day package service. Somebody in attendance here tonight, Jake McDonald. Nice young man, Steve Tambellini, one-time Islander, now Colorado Rocky. Hey, by to say hello. There's Anders Caller into the Ranger zone. Then Tambi played very well with Team Canada. He did. Played excellent for Colorado, too, uh, in the latter part of the season after he was traded there. Goring on the left side, unable to pick up the puck. Hospital shot, ricochets, comes in offside, and there's no further play. Jerry Hart, another former New York Islander, on hand here tonight as well. I was going to be eliminated by these Rangers last Friday night. Exactly. What I was going to say about Steve Tambellini, uh, he's the kind of uh, young man that if one of my daughters came home with, I would not be disappointed. Very striking young guy, good-looking, well-spoken, and... Uh, just fun to be around. He's got a good sense of humor and he enjoys his life. Sandy's headed for the altar this summer, though. That. All right. I wasn't quite sure of that. Well, obviously, he's not going to come home with one of my daughters. He better not anyway. They're a little young. <laughs> 18, 17. <laughs> the Rangers putting on some pressure here. Laidlaw from the point of that shot went wide on the deflection. Nice from the Merrick. Luge all over Merrick. And the Islanders moved in offside. Luge does a little shoving as Gordy Lane has Hospital lined up on the boards. And again, the heated words exchange. Dangling the participles, putting the infinitives down there. Mm. And that's the way I like to see it happen. Break it up, go back to playing hard hockey. Neither team wants to take any foolish penalties an unnecessary or foolish penalty could be very costly to either team islanders leading by one 12 22 remaining in the third period eric on the face off against Duguay. 4-3 islanders lead nystrom backhanded the puck it's brought up by hospital then he had trouble with it now oh, Hospitar again, laid it off the boards this time into the Islanders zone, wide of the net, Lorimer touches up, we got an icing call against the New York Rangers. The checking ability of the New York Islanders when they use it to the best of their ability is something to watch, Jigs. A few moments ago, you could see Islander players, always one backing up the other. A Ranger player never got an open shot or never got an open way to the net. If he beat one player, another Islander would be moving right in behind. Al Arbor works at practice. He has patterns of forward checking, patterns of back checking. 
in both ends of the ice that they work on constantly. Well, the Rangers tried to put it out in front for Allison, who was wide open. Bad day at the blue line to Allison, deflected off his stick. Up comes Mike McEwen. Over the Ranger line, the pass to Dinelli, cuts in, and he shot it wide. Again, went to the glove side. Don Maloney across the Islander line. Maloney, backhander, hit McEwen. McEwen around to the right side, back. Seems to be struggling a little, not skating with the fluid motion that you normally see from a very back. McEwen, Beck Sullivan, here's Allison back to the goal. Carroll steps into him, and the puck goes to Longevin. Longevin dumps it into center. Tonelli racing after it, slowed up by Bad Day. Here's Barry Beck for the Rangers. The Sullivan. Ed Sullivan just pulled it away from Bossy, played it rink wide to Beck. He couldn't get a stick on it. Bossy outside the line, waited for Tonelli to get onside. And backhanded one in. Bad Day around to the left side. This is Greshner. 10.56 left in regulation time as Sullivan shoots the puck into the Islanders' zone. Billy Smith leaves it for Denny Popan to the left wing to Clark Gillies. Hey, Gillies trying to get it to Trache. That was broken up. Rester this time. Checked by Morrow at the out of the line. Morrow, lead pass to Bossy. He comes out of the right wing. Around Katsopoulos. That was blocked down. Good check by Katsopoulos on Michael Bossy. Popan broke up the Ranger ensuing rush. Got it to Gillies. Back to Popan. Out of Bossy. Bossy. Across the line is knocked down. Gillies couldn't get a stick on it. Reschner plays the puck to Beck. Gary Beck. Rossi heads for the bench as Beck comes to the Islander line. Got over the line. Here's Reschner in front for Nielsen to Hedberg. Knocked away from him by Morrow. Andy Keller with it. Keller trying to get around Hedberg. Beck fell back in the skates. Played it to Reschner who didn't see it coming. And Popan steps into Beck at center ice. Now here's Greshner over the line. Coming in on the right side, Nethery, centering play, broken up, but there's going to be a penalty against the Islanders as Nally was knocked down. Andy Keller is going to get the penalty. A break in the action with the score of the New York Islanders. Four of the New York Rangers, three. This buds for everyone who works, so we can play. It's Bud's for you, for all you do, the king of beers is coming through. Yeah, just for you, that distinctively clean, crisp taste that says Budweiser. For all you do, this Bud's for you. Andy Keller draws an interference penalty. The Islanders will be a man short. The face-off will be in the Islanders' end of the ice. Andy Van Helleman having a word with Craig Patrick. Number 23, Ed Hospidar having a few words with the fans. Obviously, Van Helleman is telling him, leave it go. To kill it off for the Islanders, Trotje, Goring, Lane, and Lorimer. The Ranger power play, Duguay between Vickers and Talapas. They have Laidlaw and Badney at the point. Trache moves in now against Duguay, and the puck comes outside the Islander line. Adney with it at center. Laidlaw, rink wide, out of the reach of Talifus. That's Lane. Morty found an opening, and the Rangers will have to go back. The big time, big kill coming up for the, or hopefully a big kill for the Islanders. Rangers would love to score here. Talifus on the right side, dropped it back. Laidlaw has to chase it. Boring is out now with Billy Carroll for the Islanders. And they to Vickers. Carroll stepped in front of him and Lane forces the Rangers into their own zone. Beck is out on the left point now. Starts out. Fires it into the opposite corner. Lane chasing it. And out to the way from Talapus. And Carroll. Mark Moe, Billy Carroll made Jake. He moved in deep. He knew that Lane was going to be taken out of the play. He went in and got the puck. Gresner winding up at center. Over the line. Gresner drop pass. Comes to the blue line, Beck shovels one off in front, chasing it as Hedberg. Hedberg. Valet open on the right side, took the pass, relayed it to Beck, to Valet. Valet shooting, spit the glove save. Just came off the catching glove. Valet centers one, it's poked away by Trotje. 
A gamble by Valine did not work. Crache speared it. Close call. He could have had a breakaway in that position. Now Nielsen drop pass for Hedberg to Gresner at the blue line. Into Hedberg to Nielsen in front. Nielsen to Hedberg. Shoots. Smith the diving save. And he drops on top of the puck. The Rangers do not look sure of themselves, Jiggs. Number 11, Alf Nielsen, has an opportunity. He does not shoot the puck as Hedberg makes a fine play to Nielsen. Nielsen gets the pass right there. He could have shot it. He drew it back, gave it to Hedberg. And Hedberg, his shot deflected by number five, Dennis Potvin. Billy Smith corralled the puck, stopped the play. 29 seconds remaining in the penalty to Andy Caller. Big face-off here for Brian Trache against Ulf Nielsen. Edberg and Potvin asked to back up a little bit on the edge of the face-off circle. Nielsen on the drive. Rangers control it. Dresner at the blue line. That's the shot call. And hit Trache. Ooh, that stings. You see Trache jump when he got up. That hurts a little bit. Now Gresner again on the right side to Hedberg. Missed the check from Longevin. Buck loose back of the Islander goal. McEwen steps in front of his man and is backhanded and out of there. Four seconds and the penalty to Taylor will be over. Out come the Rangers. Taylor is back on. At center ice, Solomon, left wing pass. Valine into the Islander zone. Tried to make the play, got it to Allison. Allison is only 19 years old and is broken up by Taylor. Races into center ice. Across the line against Laidlaw. Taylor to the corner, goes back to the net. Comes out in front of the backhand, gives it to Longevin. Longevin. Over to McEwen, he shoots one. That went wide of the net. Here's Longevin into the corner to Goring. Out in front, Taylor shot. Blocked by Baker. Dazzling stop, and now there'll be a Ranger penalty. Number two, Laidlaw is going to get the penalty. It's an interference call as he knocks. Billy Carroll off his pin right in front of the net. Carroll had a shot all along. A break in the action. The score of the New York Islanders four. The New York Rangers three. If you run a fever when you run across import sticker prices, come on over to your Chevy dealer. Don't snow me. Show me. We'll show you a sticker price like this on the 81 Chevy Chevette. And that's no bare bones model. It's the four-door hatchback, top of the line. Let your Chevy dealer show you why now, more than ever, it pays to look before you import. At your Nassau Suffolk Chevy dealers. That's the showroom. They showed me. Dave Longevin, a fine pass to Butch Goring. This is the shot by McEwen that got it all started. The puck missed the net. Longevin to Goring. And look at here. Where are the Rangers? There's nobody in sight. The Islanders score a goal. Well, you were watching what led to the penalty against Laidlaw. We were watching the Islanders take a 5-3 lead with their second power play of this game. Here's Michael Bossy coming out of the corner with a pass. Dips down low, gets the pass. There it is. McEwen shot again. He missed the net earlier. This time, it's on the net. Good save by Baker. Shot by Gillies. Rebound by Gillies. Beck is trying to make a stop on the puck. Instead, of course, checking Clark Gillies. The puck is in the net. The Islanders, a power play goal. It's now 5-3. to three. Gillies gets his sixth. Of the playoffs, pass by Bossy, goes back to McEwen, in by Gillies, 5-3 Islanders. Time of the goal, 12-59. Gillies is sixth of the playoffs, the and McEwen power play goal. Bossy and McEwen got the assists on that goal, coming at 12-59. Lane really wants to get at Duque, and he's restrained by his teammates. It's an interference penalty to Gordy Lane. Islanders penalty. He argues with Andy, Andy Van Helleman. Van Helleman says, get in the box, or I'll give you another one. So the Rangers came right back, Jigs. They came right back down the ice. Had a play at Billy Smith after having seen Clark Gilly put the Islanders ahead 5-3. to three. The Rangers came right back quickly. Lane gets a penalty on the play. As you see, Bobby Lorimer going the right in front of the Islander cage. There's Lane. 
pulling Duguay down, gets the penalty. Now it's reversed again. Rangers with a power play opportunity. Their last time, they did not do well. The Islanders did a great job of killing the penalty. Billy Carroll and Butch Goring up front did a fine job the last time. Croce, of course, will take the face off. Take note of that number on your screen. Questions for Stan Fischler and Ed Westfall after the game tonight on Hockey Hotline. Ranger power play, and it's broken up, and Trache comes out. And Denny Plapat against Beck, and Greshner is deducted into the Ranger zone. Greshner, number four, starts up. Right side to Wolf Nielsen. Wilson at center. To the Islander line, poke check by Morrow. Beck gives it to Greshner. Had to wait for his man to get outside. The play was broken up as Goring tipped the pass. Now Hedberg plays it in around Morrow. Hedberg to Nielsen. Nielsen back to Vickers. That's broken up. Back at the blue line. Back to Greshner. Into the quarter. Hedberg going round behind the net. Comes out. Centered it off the stick of Billy Smith. And Denny Popman fires it down the ice. 5.58 remaining in regulation time. A minute 10 left in the Islander penalty. 5-3 Islander lead. Here's Morrow. Back of the net. Bumped by Hedberg. Trache there as well. Maloney got it to Hedberg. Put it out in front. But right to Trache. Now counter to Trache. In the center. Gresker back. Trache over the line. Coming in on goal. It's knocked down by the check from Gresker. The center is four. Keller from Brian Trache. And it's 6-3. to three, Another shorthanded goal. What a play Brian Trache makes. As he takes the puck in. Makes a play. He's taken out. Gets back up. Great second effort by Trache to get the puck. Here you see them trying to break out. It's Taller to Trache. Number 11, Nielsen in pursuit. That's Fresher trying to get a hold of Trache. He does. Pulls him down. But Trache gets up, goes, gets the puck. Passes to Andy Caller. Number two, Laidlaw. Could not contain Andy Caller. Caller started the play with the pass to Brian Trache. And number four, Greshner, knocks down Brian Trache. He gets right back up. Great second effort. And look at the pass to Andy Caller. Another shorthanded goal. Second one of the game for the New York Islanders. They've blown it a wide open now. Six to three. 45 seconds remaining in the penalty to Gord Lane. Sixth shorthanded goal in the playoffs. The Rangers now have given up three in the playoffs. Maloney fell on top of the puck, back on his skates, tied up by McEwen, a pileup, and a face-off coming in the Islanders' zone. Andy Caller from Trotche at 14:27 with Lane sitting out an interference penalty. Ryan Trotche has run his consecutive game streak to 18, a point in 18 straight playoff games. How about that? That's some consistency, Jake. Andy Caller, what a move he made. He used his strength. He gives the puck to Croce, follows him up the ice. He knows they're not in trouble. Laidlaw has a hold of Caller but can't contain him. He's out muscled. Caller just pops the goal right by Steve Baker. Baker looked like he had a chance maybe to block the pass by Brian Croce when it came out, but he didn't reach quite far enough. Five goals against here on Tuesday, six tonight. You can hear the fans singing. Some of their lines out of a commercial running around the country. Made by in, the shot went wide of the net. Adney into the corner for Maloney too far. Lormer slaps it around the boards, held in at the point. Made long. Lorber. Kind of lost it, did, but up into the crowd. We have 4.47 left in regulation. And one second left in the penalty against Lane. Obviously, the Islanders now, with one second remaining on the penalty to Lane, they want to win the faceoff and take the puck down to the Rangers' end of the ice. They want to play out as much of the clock as possible down around Steve Baker, the Rangers' goaltender. Three goal difference, they're not really in any trouble, but they do not want the Rangers to get anything to get hyped up about. We've seen two quick goals in succession before. The Islanders scored three in five minutes and 33 seconds. Back to drilled one wide of the net. Now Lane on the right wing boards into the corner. Gillis with it. 
Added it right to Billy Carroll. And Carroll dumps it into center. Into the Ranger zone. He was hoping it would slow up a little. Couldn't avoid the icing call as back went back. There's a break in the action with the score. The New York Islanders six. The New York Rangers three. Tomorrow night on Sports Channel, there's more New York Mets baseball when the San Diego Padres come to Shea Stadium. Game time is 8 p.m. The magic is back, and you can catch it right here on Sports Channel. Your box seat to New York Sports at home. And we'll bring you more action, game three of this series, the Madison Square Garden on Saturday night at 9, and right after tonight's action here on Sports Channel, Hockey Hotline, Stan Fischler and Ed Westfall. Getting ready for a face-off in the circle to the left of Billy Smith. Eric on the draw against Netherine. The puck went to the corner for Potvin. Eric, Marlene stole it. Fired it right into the catching glove of Billy Smith. <laughs> Billy Smith having a little fun, Jakes, with the shot. Catches it, raises it up high, then flattens it down. Much like a an end catching a touchdown pass. He will spike it a little bit. <laughs> Well, we were talking about that eye training. There are several things they use. One is a long line of light, so they can speed it up, slow it down. You push the button when you think it's the light. The last light is going to be lit. We talk about reflex action. Mike Rivian fools with the speed of that thing. He'll drive you crazy. <laughs> Another one is a rotating circle. When you finish that, they set the puck in front of you. It looks like it's 10 feet big. Billy Carroll into the corner intended for Keller. The Rangers broke that up, cleared it into center ice. Over the line, Gillis a drive, Smith to save. Billy didn't have to move on it. Just thank you. Well, thank you very much. I think it was the fall season. Cherry picking time, as the players call it. That's Gillis, number six, as he winds up, lets the shot go. Billy has it, and watch the backhand. Oh, keep running it, guys. <laughs> a little... That's it, right there. Just look one way, toss it out the other. <laughs> a little sassy. <laughs> and he has a right to be. Islanders leading 6-3. 3.49 remaining in the third period. Eric played it back to the net. It was centered out in front by Vickers, but Duque was too well covered. Here's Trache in the center. Ryan right side to Merrick. Put it out in front. Dyson shot hit the skates of Katsopoulos. Good shot by Bob Nystrom. Good save again. Baker, after it hit Kasopoulos, made the save on it. Dane Talapus. It's laid law, playing it to Katsopoulos. 3.20 left in regulation time as Katsopoulos dumps it into the far corner. Mike McKillar. Colin Hughes is probably here. Eric across the line, shot it in around the boards, but they're calling it back on an offside. We haven't seen much of Carol Vadney. We may not for the next 30 seconds as there's a break in the action with the score. The Islanders 6, the Rangers 3. But when, Senator? Uh, to that I reply, all things come to him that waits. Oh, uh, Senator, at uh, Shearson Loeb Roads, we disagree. Shearson Loeb Roads? Well, it's one of America's fastest growing investment firms. Really? Well, instead of waiting, Shearson believes in making good things happen. But who could make good things happen for me? Well, for you and over 3,000 new clients a week, the answer is Shearson. I heartily agree. <laughs> <laughs> when the question is money, the answer is Shearson. You were talking about Carol Vadney Jiggs. You're right. He has not been on the ice, if at all, in this third period. Now, he's up there now. Now you, like always, when we do something like that, we are short-changed. Vadney is on the ice now. Rache centering for Gillies and Bossy. And he pop and rifles the puck into the Islander, the Ranger zone at least. That's back with it behind the net. Gary Beck off the board, but right to Gillies at the blue line. Rache came back to pick up the puck, gave it to Popan at center ice. Dennis got it into the Rangers zone. Baker out of the net to flank it down. Rossi and Trotchy in four checking. Out comes Beck. Gary Beck. Looks to me like he's got a bad wheel, 18. He's laboring some way. Uh, 
Jiggs. As to what it is, I'm not sure. He's gone off the ice several times early. He's had a lot of ice time tonight, so he could possibly be tired. Morrow banks the puck out on the right side. Bossy has a break. Mike Bossy coming in all alone. Shoot, shoot, scores. And insult to injury. And Mike Bossy is the kind that'll kill you. The game was actually out of reach for the New York Rangers. But Bossy picked up a pass from Ken Morrow along the boards. Beck tried to, or that was Gresher, excuse me, tried to intercept it. That's Beck chasing Bossy. Look where he puts it as he makes Steve Baker go right to left with the fake. He puts it right between his legs. Several of the Islanders' goals have gone between his legs. Beck trying to catch Bossy. Bossy knows where to go, and he knows what to do when he gets there. And that's it. His goal was a goal, and he got it. Here we go again. Canelli this time shooting. Baker the save, and he covered up. Billy Carroll was coming in quickly. Baker able to cover up. Kenny Morrow, the only assist on Bossy's 10th goal of the playoffs. Coming at 17.47. Michael Bossy again behind that Ranger goal as the fans bang on the glass. That's the noise you hear. Bossy got a couple of Wahoos out on the ice here now. Yeah, but the men in uniform have them. <laughs> yeah, have one of them. Probably both of them. Bossy gets his 10th goal. Morrow assisting. John Tonelli on a breakaway there, stayed by Baker. And another chance. Billy Carroll here they go about. On Maloney. The Sullivan ahead for Allison. Across the line. Out around lane. Picks up the puck. Mike Allison with the blue line. This is Hospital with a shot. Blocks in front of the net. It's loose. Allison in. Can't get it around, but he's just in front of the penalty on the play. Gord Lane again is going to get a holding penalty. Billy Smith makes a good save. Uh, Mike Allison. Lane heads for the box. There's the shot coming through. It's blocked right in front. Gordy Lane, you can see him trying up. Here's Allison. He's going to try and beat Billy Smith on his right side. Smith says, no, you're not. I'm going to get my leg out, stop the puck, dump you over my leg. Gordy Lane gets a penalty for holding with a minute and 40 seconds remaining in the hockey game. Got to admire the Rangers. They have not stopped Jigs. They're still trying to get a goal. Seven to three for the Islanders. Totally out of reach, but what they're really working on is to try and get themselves back into a hockey game somewhat in spirit, if nothing else, so they get something positive to talk about when they open back in their home rink on Saturday night, Madison Square Garden. We'll have that action for you here on Sports Channel, beginning at 9 o'clock. There will be no pregame show in the games for Madison Square Garden. 9 o'clock on Saturday, 8.30 next Tuesday night. So the Islanders shorthanded as Lane sets out this holding penalty. Katsopoulos into Valine. Centered one that ricocheted off Langevin. With Netherly as well, and comes to center, and Trotje dumps it down. Fantastic cheer for Steve Baker after he had blocked that. Alain being chased by Billy Carroll. Carroll broke up the Ranger rush. Here's Carroll. Can't get around the defensive work of Alain. And the puck ends up back to the net. Cheap shot. Badney gives Billy Carroll a tremendous cross check in the back of the net. Longevin wants that. Badney. Billy Carroll, who is checking very hard at the time was down on his knees and I'd love to show that if we can and as Billy Keller is checking he goes down on the ice we're going to show you that right here now there's Billy Carroll down there right there right along the neck need a neck brace for a few weeks after a shot like that Carroll goes to the box he's been known to do that in the past that borders on deliberate attempt to injury in my book. No question, and you can hurt a man very severely with a shot like that. Billy Carroll, what fine forechecking he's doing, killing a penalty. That's Wall Valine, as he's checking him, they tie each other up. That's both legal. Valine goes down, Carroll gets his feet pulled up from underneath him, and then as he's trying to get up with his back turned, he takes a ferocious check in the neck. 
Badney gets two minutes for it, a minute and 12 seconds. I often think that if a guy wants to do anything positive in an aggressive way, he's better to do it in the first period where he may get the other team a little edgy about him, but do it going straight in. It does not take a great deal to throw a check such as that. Yeah, you'll certainly but remember this going to uh, Saturday night's game. Particularly with Jiggs with a minute and 12 seconds remaining in a hockey game, and he has not been on the ice but two shifts in the third period. Maybe three. All the teams at five aside, seven to three. Islanders leading the Rangers, back shooting the puck in. Around the board, Marjorie Marini, unable to control it. Laid line at the blue line, the Beck. His shot, Smith, the save. Duguay passed in front of Billy Smith. Got the stick up a little, he's just protecting himself. He had the puck safely in the catching glove. Billy gets the stick up just to say if you want to run into it, go ahead. I don't agree with that either, but it's a threatening gesture. He did not make contact. He could see Duguay coming at him from the side. Duguay was only looking for a rebound. Had Billy mishandled the puck, but of course the puck did not come loose. Smith's stick was up in Duguay's face as he crossed in front. Coming to tonight's game, the Islanders had outscored their opponents 54 to 26. Goes back to the Toronto series. It ended in three straight. The Edmonton series that went six. And you can add seven more, making it 61 to 29 as it stands right now. Eric on the faceoff. Longevin picks it up. Around the boards. Duguay, come back. Behind the goal. Longevin breaking up. Don Maloney. Maloney. Knocks it back of the goal. Duguay can't get there in time. Longevin clears it into the center right zone. A race for it. Billy Carroll steps in front of Laidlaw. The Baker has come way out of the net to clear it for the Rangers. Over to Barry Beck. Beck to Duguay. Duguay. Don Maloney turns. Dropped it back. Laidlaw is knocked down by Longevin. And Lorimer trying to clear the puck. Duguay with a shot at the side of the net. Here's Laidlaw in. Couldn't get a stick on it. For the Islanders. Drips it up in the air, and that's pretty much it. Merrick in deep. Larry Merrick with Carol Merrick shoots. Baker the save, and there's the horn. The Islanders just don't know when to quit. They're going for number eight. But they have taken a two game lead in this best of seven series thanks to a big second period. And again here in the third as they blank the Rangers after trailing 3-1 at the end of the first. It's all the New York Islanders from there on. They scored six unanswered goals in the final score tonight. The New York Islanders seven, the New York Rangers three. We're not going to go out there and sit on the lead or, or sit on the sit back and, and let them come to us. We want to go and take the play to them. And I think that every game that we've been successful, we've done that. And the games that they've scored on us is where we sat back. I remember the, the seventh game against Toronto when we were, uh, when we lost that game. It seemed like we let them come to us a little bit. So we just go out there and, and uh, try to forecheck uh, as best we can. Bob, the Islanders were almost eliminated by the Pittsburgh Penguins and uh, some observers think yeah. there was a direct correlation between the fact that you were not in the lineup until the critical fifth game and then uh, you returned and it seemed that when you did come back 